Well, it's been a rough year, but I'm happy to report that there's finally some good news for me. Glasses wearers less likely to get COVID, study says. Oh, joy. This is fantastic news for me and for people everywhere who wear glasses. Nerd immunity, am I right? There's definitely no need for me to read past the headline. And I definitely should not click on the link that gives me the full study, which I will read in its entirety and then find significant issues in it that I believe invalidate its conclusions. Why why do I have to ruin everything? What's wrong with me? Okay, so this is not the first we've heard something like this about glasses providing some type of uh, risk mitigation for COVID-19. Doctors in China last summer noticed that many of their patients were not wearing eyeglasses. So like good little scientists, they did not trust their own biased experiences and they instead collected some data. And this past September, they published their results. Sure enough, out of 276 COVID patients, they found that only 5.8% wore eyeglasses compared to 31.5% of the general population. That is a huge difference. However, the authors of that study point out that they aren't able to make any definitive recommendations based upon that one study due to some mitigating factors. For instance, it might be that eyeglasses really do lower your chance of contracting COVID. Maybe it's because they make it so that you're less likely to touch your eyes after you've just touched a surface that has COVID-19 on it. Or it might be that it's less likely, thanks to eyeglasses, that COVID particulates sneezed or coughed or breathed out by someone uh, land on your eyeball, where they can then easily travel into your nose and lungs. After all, there's a reason why a well-equipped medical professional who is treating in close contact COVID-19 patients doesn't just wear a face mask uh, over their nose and mouth. They also often wear goggles or a full face shield. That's because the eyes are a definite possible entry point for nasty things to get into your body. So it could be that. Or it could be that rich people are more likely to be able to afford eyeglasses, and they're also more likely to be able to safely quarantine and thus not even be exposed to COVID-19. Or it could be that older people are more likely to wear glasses, and those people are also more likely to take quarantine seriously, thereby avoiding exposure to the virus. The authors point out both of these issues, and they suggest that future research follow up on those things to drill down on exactly why they got the results that they got. Well, scientists in India heard that call and they answered with this. Study published this month, Risk of Coronavirus Disease 2019 Among Spectacles Wearing Population of Northern India. And they did find, according to their results, I quote, the present study showed that the risk of COVID-19 was about two to three times less in spectacles wearing population than the population not wearing those. The nasolacrimal duct may be a route of virus transmission from conjunctival sac to the nasopharynx. Well, that sounds conclusive, except for when you actually read the study and you find that they didn't actually bother to improve upon the Chinese study at all. And in fact, they may have screwed up a few extra things. It's weird because they cite the Chinese study, which suggests that they have read it, but they did not bother to control for the variables like socioeconomic status that the Chinese author specifically requested. Additionally, this study determined that 19% of the 304 patients they surveyed wore glasses uh, all or most of the time. They compare that to 40% of the general public in India, which is a lot more than the Chinese study. So where did they get that 40% from? Well, they got it from this study published in 2019 that found that 40% of Indians had corrected vision. So 53.1% of Indians had vision problems, according to the study. 10.2% of Indians had uncorrected vision problems. 
Unfortunately, this study does not actually tell us how many of those people with corrected vision are actually correcting their vision with glasses all or most of the time. Like, first of all, there's a lot of people out there who have glasses but do not wear them. Uh, I know a lot of people like that. Their vision is not that bad. There are also studies that show that a lot of poorer people in India uh, have glasses that are too out of date, so they don't bother wearing them. But also, contact lenses exist. And a lot of people wear them. How many people? Well, I spent literally hours trying to find a number for India because percentages vary from country to country. And there's just not a lot of good data on this for some reason. I found an article from 20 years ago that suggested that only like 2% of Indians wear contact lenses uh, all or most of the time. Um, but lenses have exploded in popularity since then. So then there's this other study from four years ago that suggests that 40% of Indian medical students wear contact lenses. That is a huge number. The popularity of contacts has definitely exploded, but I don't know if it's exploded that much. Um, it makes sense that more people are using them, but maybe not as many people as that. Medical students are probably more likely to wear contact lenses than the general population. While I can't find an exact number, it's clear that a significant portion of people with corrected vision are not actually wearing glasses. And it's bad science to assume otherwise. So you've got 19% of your COVID patients reporting that they wear glasses. Um, you can't compare that to 40% of the general population when it's actually going to be more like 25 to 35%. It's still a difference, but the difference is much smaller. And considering that this study only had 42 patients who wore glasses, that's not quite as compelling as it used to be. You know, two to three times less risk is now more like anywhere from no statistical difference at all to not quite two times less risk. And let's not forget that the demographics of people who wear contacts versus glasses are significantly tied to gender. Women are more likely to wear contact lenses. Age, younger people are more likely to wear contacts. And income, richer people are more likely to wear contact lenses. So considering that all three of those demographics are less likely to contract and or die of COVID-19, if you control for those factors, then you will finally have a number that is significant. Uh, if you could actually find that despite all of those things, people who wear glasses are still less likely to contract or die from COVID-19, now we've got some evidence worth writing a press release about. Unfortunately, we have none of that. For the record, I actually don't doubt that wearing glasses does provide some tiny amount of protection. But is it enough for all of you to run out right now and cop my style? Probably not. Just stay home, wear your mask when you go outside, be as safe as you can.